They price everything up, but they don't know everything. Um, they price everything up, but I'm going to go on in. What's up, everybody? What's up, Jessica? We're going to go in here. Hit some pi- likes button. I can tell you right now, we already have the dude. I know his car. It's this, there's a white one right there. That white car right there. He will follow me and uh, talk. try to talk to me. And I'm going to literally sit there and talk to you guys while he's following me. And I might have to cough because he wears a mask, so I'll cough a whole bunch, and maybe he'll leave me alone. But we'll see. Uh, not the expensive one, I know. But listen, I'm going to show you guys I'm better than them. I'm going to find something better than them. They're probably watching. Here I come. So we'll look for some new carts. They have one out there. She looks like she's looking for some goodies. Um, yeah, look. See, what happens is also you got all these high schooler and college kids in right now. And they're all about finding the goods. Trying to do what we do. See what he looks like. Oh, God. Oh, you'll see him. You will see him. Unprocessed textiles. He will show his face. He will rear his face. Um, we'll go through this real quick. I don't know. Never seen the unprocessed textiles. That mean, might mean don't touch. Like I told you, this is the one that that dude comes in. Emily... Cartney, is that nice? That looks kind of something. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Pretty good. How about you? Good. That looks like something neat. What's that? It is Keystone. Mickey Mouse on the wreck. Yeah, there's Mickey Mouse. What is this? J. Crew. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see. They know me around here. Ellie Takara. That looks like J. Crew. Or that looks like um, Lulu Lemon right there. Let's see. Is it? Is it? It is. Man, I know my stuff. Now let's see how much they priced it at. Oh, they actually priced it decent. How about it? A V-neck. I don't know. I'll get it. We'll see. Uh, I always get my hand slaps for touch, touching carts. Yeah, I've never seen that on this cart before. So, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. There's a Pearl Snap Wrangler. I don't usually buy Pearl Snap Wranglers. Ooh, Tiger Woods. They're going to have this price. four ninety nine. Oh. They know I don't come here anymore? Oh, that Tiger Woods is old anyways. Tell you what, I'm going to scoot this stuff down, and they can yell at me all they want. I don't care. But um, let's see. How much is Emily McCarthy? Four bucks. I don't know nothing about her. But look, she's got some nasties on her. Ooh, ooh, nah. She's bleeding or something. We're going to put her back. We're going to put her back. Then we're going to go back to town. So we did find that little Lulu. Again, there's another tiger. Uh, this is an older tiger, guys. This older tiger wood stuff does not sell for as well. So I'm going to pass on it, even though it's four bucks. So, what is this brand? Made in New York? Millie Lunton? Look at this. Dang it. No, I can't. You, you already saw that. I've never seen that brand before. Let's keep going through here before I get yelled at. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Nope. Again, look what tags they're putting out. Blue. And they'll have some red, so we definitely have to look at red at this store. Especially since I didn't come here over the weekend. Old Navy, Old Navy. Unique women. Oh, look. They put out another cart. How about it? All right. That had stains. It was nasty. That's work. That's work. That's work. Magnolia. Hey, guys. What's this brand right here? What is this brand? Millie Lawton. I've never heard of it. Made in New York. Millie Lawton. Seems like something decent. Get get that? Yeah, but it's got stains on it. Look. You think it's still worth it? I'll snag it for now. Hold it, but I don't know if it's got stains on it. Um, I can try to get them out if it's worth big money. Lux. Who's that? All right, women. Again, another one of these brands. I have no idea what it is. We're looking at here. Council certified, very good brand. It's popular, high end and ends women's. Okay. Uh, Manje, Manji. Uh, Millie is a good brand. Okay. What about this? I picked up the pants, by the way. Um, I don't know this one. I don't know this one. 
Okay, I don't know. Don't know. Don't know that one. Well, let's see what color those pants are in. Shoot, they're red. We're going to have to look for reds. Here's another one. Mystery? Mystery. Mystery. Feels like linen. You guys know mystery? Mystery. A little bit linen. It's got a little linen in it. Is this a good one? Millie jeans? Well, these aren't Millie jeans. These are Millie top. See, on Millie, it's a Hold on. Let's go back. Millie. All right. Well, I got them. You guys say they're worth, let's get them. Um, Millie Lawton. What are these? They're, they are Millie Lawton. Yeah, I don't know. They're five bucks. So, how about that? Uh, mystery is cheap. This Lululemon is also cheap, by the way. This is women's. I'm pretty sure this is women's. It's five bucks. I don't care. You guys know I find Lulu all the time. I don't think I'm going to get this shirt. So, sorry. You guys are going to just scream at me and get so mad at me. Oh, no. Why are there only 190 people in here? What the heck? You guys need to be tapping. Ton Dunhill. Okay, so this is the second time I found this. Dunhill. Dunhill, like, isn't that the expensive Dunhill? Lily Logan's really good. It's a new brand to me. Um, but this, oh, man, look at all these Tommy Bahamas. Uh, so I don't like picking up Tommy Bahamas, but honestly, with these shirts, they're five bucks. What you can do is lot them all together. Um, they're all the same size, large. Look at this. There's all of them. What should I do? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars. I could probably list these for like a hundred bucks. I bet you, I could sell them for a lot. One, two, three, four, five. What do you guys think? That blue color is nice. It is nice. Whole little sell right now. I know. All right. So this is what I'll do. And when I lot items, guys, just so you know, what I'll do is I will put the logos like my my thumbnail will be something like all the logos right on top of each other. So they'll see the logo and the color, the logo color and the color of the shirt, and they'll all look really good right on top of each other. Not like that. But that's what I'll do when I lock these up. I'll get them, all five of them. How about that? So this is not normally something I'd pick up, but since they're all the same size, I'm going to pick them all up and line them together with those Nilly. Um, let's see. What else do we have on this rack? This rack seems like it's got some decent stuff. Nux. Coach. Lily body, Lily body. I mean, literally daily, I find new leggings for women. What, what is up? I just can't keep up. Beyond yoga, Beyond yoga is good. But those are really small. Oh, look at that! New, new rent, new cart, new cart with plushes, plushes and stuff and stuff. Maybe I should go follow it. Grab these. I'm going to grab them for now. What's this little body? Tell me what that is. This little body. And what's this brand? What is this brand? Maji? Is this a good brand? Is this a good brand? I'm going to go look at that cart they just brought out. Maji. Maji. This one. I'm going to walk away. They had like, oh, there's that K-Deer. This is a, this is a good brand, guys. I just found this last week. K-Deer. Keep out. I think this Maji might be good too. And Lil Body. Help me out. Maji. Maji. Is Maji good? So here's that Maji. Lily Body has very low sell through. Okay, what about Maji? Dang, too bad that Lil Body doesn't. There's Lil Body doing well. There's a lot of them on here. Seventh Avenue. Simply Vera. Uh, nothing. Kenzie, I'll go back and show you some of this stuff in a minute, guys, but what I need to do is show you when you go back to that cart. They just rolled out. And Taylor, no tags, h and no tags, no. And there's a new cart right here. These look like Chubbies. I'll snag them real quick. Uh, they are. Check it out. Chubbies. Snag. Chubbies. Snag. These Chubbies. Snag. Are these Chubbies? Snag. Dang. 
Lucky today. All right. Maji. Yes. What about Maji? Yes to Maji? Yes to Maji? I thought that girl said, oh my God. No. Yes to Maji? Maji has 10% seltzer. That's not good. No to Maji. We were going to say yes to Maji. Now we're saying no to Maji. How about all those chubbies? Those are good. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. So on the way over there, this friend right here, guys, this is a new brand to me. I looked it up last week. They look like they do well. Look at those old typewriters. What are those? Man, I'm going to have to go get it. Look, that's like, it's like alligator skin. How's it going? That's him. Yeah, I found some good stuff. It's good. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, guys, so I'm just going to keep talking to you because uh, that's what I want to do. Who's this guy? So, what are these? Are these sewing machines? What are these? They are sewing machines. They're vintage. What are these? So the singer, no, look how cool those are. Royal, Royale, those look freaking sweet. What do you guys think? Yep, the dude, the dude, mm-hmm. Uh, what about Maji? K Deer is good, I just looked them up. Yep, they are good, I just found them last week. Yep, Red Hat, that's right. So that was cool. Let's look up this one. Let's look up this one. He's still here, by the way. That was cool. What do you guys think of these? What's this? Is this a singer? Oh, it's not. It's a singer. Huh? I can't. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I put on eBay a lot of stuff. It's not easy to sell. Well, yeah. You just got to price it right, man. What about this one and that one? Mercury and that. Are these worth eight bucks a piece? What do you guys think? Or ten bucks a piece? These are ten bucks a piece. I could buy them both. Probably put them on marketplace. What do you guys think? Um, damn. Uh, I'll be back. So let's see this new cart they just rolled out real quick. Guys, he's, he's leaving me alone. He's leaving me alone. This is awesome. Look, I don't buy plushes, but. You go get a cart. Back. Dang it. This guy won't leave me alone. Shelby. Shelby, look who it is. Look. Uh, uh. All right. I like the blue color. You find anything good yet, Joel? We found some stuff. I'm running away. I'm running away. Man, this mint section is cleared. Look at that. We'll go through it. We'll find something. We'll find something. Look at our. Look at you getting all these carts out for us. So nice. You are my favorite. You're not my favorite customer, my favorite employee. Thank you. All right. So look, we got some chubbies. We got all this stuff. And I don't even know about this one. So we'll we'll look it up. It's got some nasty on it, but some set does well. We'll try to get that out. So what do you list chubbies at? I don't know. I'll have to look these up, but they're super vibrant. That's what people want. Probably like 22, 23 bucks plus buy or pay shipping, something like that. And I got these, uh, these five, these five uh, bah- Tommy Bahama polos, which I normally don't pick up, but I am going to because they are uh, all the same size. So sorry, love some chubbies. Yeah, again, this is not a, over 18, so I can't get nasty with y'all, but. What do you think about those sewing machines? Um, what should I do about those sewing machines? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I feel like I could get those. Sorry, this also, guys, some Beyond Yoga and some K Deer, which is a good brand too. Here we go. So this is also what I got going on in here. Ah. All right, on the Mercury sewing machine. No, on the Mercury. Um, they do not sell very high. No, so all those sewing machine things, I would just buy and put them on Facebook Marketplace. Um, someone local, they're 10 bucks a piece. <gasps> those are super cute. Anyways, 
can't have babies anymore, if you know what I mean. Um, all right, so let's look on here. What do we just find on here? Chubbies? Barbell's a good brand. I found them in jeans before. I don't know about shirts. There's Eric. Eric! Um, too cute. Find, find Juicy Tour. I find Juicy all the time. I pass it up. Uh, let's keep looking. Cat Jack, Children's Place. Yeah. Mm, man, I'm not going to even tell you. I found some uh, Lily Pulitzer the other day. Women's. I can't tell you what what I found inside. So let's keep looking. Let's see. How come I don't see anyone working with me? No one. Thanks for sending me a lightning bolt. Whoever that was. No one's over here working with me. You can ask for money, but you can hit the screen at least. These fell off, so I'm putting them back. So anyway, so this is the brand. I know it's backwards, but that's a brand I found last week. It's good. Kill, like, K-Deer. K-Deer. Ah, oh, there you go. Thank you, everybody. You're working with me. We just came in here, so we're going to find some. Okay, here we go. Here's another. Young Tola. Young Tola. These look interesting. Young L O Young L.A. What an idiot. <laughs> young L.A. I don't think they're anything. They are backwards. I'm sorry about that. Hillary Radley. That looks like a Costco. That's a Costco. Um, anytime you see something like that. Ooh, shoes. Uh-oh, look. He's on them. He's on them like white on rice. Let's see what they got. Anything nice? Anything nice in here? Look at him. He's on them. White on rice. So, I saw Olakai's. Saw some Olakai's in there, but you know they're going to pipe them up. Uh, thanks for the, all those. Thanks for those. Two seven. Um, I got to get left over here. Look at these people. I'm just like, what? Okay. Olakai's. How much is Olakai's? I'm actually pricing these at nowadays. Seven ninety nine. That's not bad for some Olakai's, but... They look beat up. These aren't even the original shoelaces. How do I know that? Because I buy Olakai's. These are cool looking. What do you think about these? What do you guys think about these? Do they look good on my feet? I don't know. Yeezys on the bottom. Yeah, those are fake. Those are going to be super fake. Are you talking about these? These aren't even Yeezys. Let me try to resell them. There's so much fake here. Um, Young L.A., Get Young LA. Get Young LA. Someone grabbed them. Just kidding. Look at me. What did I call them? What did I call them? Um, young LA? Young LA? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I'll put it back in the men's section if I don't. Thank you. Let me see. Let me see what's on the other side real quick. Thank you. Some Tevas. Tevas are nice. Tevas are nice. Five ninety nine. Not bad. J Crew. Nah, thank you though. Uh, let's see. Holy guys. No, 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 no. Bands. Nope, they're going to be expensive. So, sorry guys, I'm not talking right now. Oh, um, this is good. Gore-Tec, whatever this is. Bethesine, whatever. You know. So, what am I dealing with in this one? Alright, so what about these? No? I say no. Alright. They will sell. They were LeBron Top Galaxy tight pattern. Oh, those ones up top. Those LeBrons up top. You've got them over there. I'm going to let them have them. Let them play for a while. I'm out of there. All right. Sorry, everyone. That was crazy. What are those striped? Mm, these are vans. Those are vans. Okay. I got to get out of there. Uh, pants. The pants were... I don't know. Oh, there go. Right here. Young LA. Uh, Young LA. Yeah, but they price fans up here. I ain't gonna do it. Now we're getting some likes in here. Yay. Yay. For the record, I don't get paid for likes. Just you guys working, me working at the same time. Paper Cardinal, Wild Fable, Obey. Barney Cools. This looks like some sort of a... Uh, I'm telling you, there's so many of these brands nowadays that I don't know anything about. Got to get out there. I know. 
Young LA joggers retail for 35. Okay, well, I'm not buying those ones. They retail for $35 on their site. I can't get something that retails for $35. Um, so I had every shoe within even checking prices. Oh, yeah, he's over there right now looking through them all. He's got a USA shirt. He ain't from the USA, by the way. Not that I care, I'm just saying. All right, Barney Cools. What is this? What is this? What is this? Thanks for the hearts, guys. Um, those might be a new type of vans. Anyways, these are what I picked up out of all those shoes. Um, so these are Gore-Tex, which is good. They're leather boots. The bottoms are decent. Pretty good, actually. Ten bucks. And there's Mephisto, 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 whatever that is. But they sell, these are probably like 180 new, 160 new. Um, but they're Gore-Tex in their boots. That's pretty much why I got them. Um, let's go look at the goods. Now that looks interesting. What is that? It almost looks like a Johnny was or something. Let's see. He was making weird noises. He always does. Max jeans. Don't know it. Don't know it. All right, let's go back. I think they rolled another card out. I got to go around. What exact Gore-Tex? Uh, right here, Joel. Look up this brand right here. Mephisto, and just look up a shoe that looks like that. So Mephisto, I forget how to say it. I don't know. All I know how to do is type it in. So I can do that. But we're gonna, we have a lot to look at here. I haven't been in here in a minute. Old boy was probably in here this morning. Um, rub some conditioner for the leather. Yep, I do. 478 on Zappos. Yeah, they're expensive stuff. All right. Uh, did I miss something? Why are you avoiding that guy? <laughs> I'm going to have to post a slide later. Ah, you guys are killing me. I want to get those. They're 10 bucks a piece. I want to get those and put them on Marketplace. 20 bucks. Put them on Marketplace. 25 bucks a piece. You know someone would get them. You know they would. Ah. All right. Sorry. I'm just kind of going around. Then we'll go look at some more clothing. Looking around all this, all these goodies. This place is busy too. Uh, give them a flip, forty each. See, that's what I'm saying. I could tell when shipping is expensive on shoes, kinda. Um, yeah, but I put them in the shoe box. They're not too bad. Um, and they're in good shape too. Like these are in good shape. The size isn't great. Look at that. Uh, US nine. It's not the best size, but so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all this up here. I don't care what y'all say or give me a hard time or whatever. But I'm going to go get those two sewing machines. And you guys can be mad at me all you want. I don't care. I'm going back and I'm getting them in mine. Um, Gore-Tex, high stuff sells for a lot. Exactly. Even the Echo shoes like that, I don't normally get Echo unless they're uh, golf. Those Echo shoes with those Gore-Tex sell for like 100 bucks. Um, Yeah. I'm getting these. They're heavy. I'm getting them. There's one. And here's two. I mean, that one's straight 50s. Does that not look like a car out of the 50s? That blue? That thing was sweet. So, I'm going to look. You guys are going to look at me for a second. I'm going to put these in here. Put this on the bottom. Jeez, I look like I'm a real thrifter. Look at this. Look at this. I look like a hoarder today. All right. No, they'll put them back now. <laughs> Look at this comment. What a troll. What a troll. Jeez. That's my wife, though. What a troll. Sorry. They're coming home, Shelby. They're coming home. All right. But for real, this one thing, that one thing, remember with the stains? Should I get that or not? This one. You guys should get those stains out. Emily McCart McCartney. McCartney. I don't want this stuff touching. This old crap. So. There we go. I'll just put it on top. Whatever. All right. Fine stain remover. No. But is it good? Is it a good brand? I flipped in two weeks. All right. Let me get out of here. Oh my gosh. This cart has got a whole bunch. I'm going to be looking really weak on this side. All right. So we got sewing machines. There's a vintage sewing machine group. They'll buy and sell vintage machines. I know. I used to sell antiques. Um, singers are the ones I always used to buy and look for. 
especially uh, the the ones you could uh, what do they call them the portable ones the portable ones always sold really well so here are those that one brand Millie Lawton Lawton I don't know look at this what a mess all right here we go what do people what do you price Puma Lar pants at? If they are um, summer comfort or like a, a nylon blend, a lot. If they're just like a, a like this, I don't sell them for much. Um, like twenty bucks plus buyer pay shipping. So all right, we're calm. We're we're back in our element. Look, they're gonna price these up, aren't they? Ten bucks for these. I can't can't pay that. Hey Macklemore, I know Macklemore. Yeah, Singer Featherweight. That's exactly Singer Featherweight. It's been a while since I've ran in, run into those, but when we used to do estate sales, like every house had them, like an easy five hundred dollars right off the bat. Um, I know. I just need to find a fur coat. Now I'll be Macklemore up in here. Let's go through this again. I'm really looking for blue tags, but I will look for some red. If they put anything out, Comfort Ease Ballin. Ballin. I've seen that brand probably. I know you gotta see what they're selling at the store. Nice pants. Um I know. That one pair, that women's pair. Yeah. So we need to go see if it's got a blue tag and then we need to go find more of them in here. We need to look at the size on them, and then we need to go see if they have more of them in here. Because there's a good chance they could. That's that happens, you know, to all of us. You look I found six dollar in pocket and thrifted sweater. Nice. He's got twenty in his pocket. I think he's overdoing it. Oh, old boy, with the red hat boy. Yeah, he probably is overdoing it. Um. All right. So let's look at the size. The red tag, which is doesn't help. They're size ten. All right. So when we go to the women's section. We look at ten. Oh, they have blue tags out. Socks. They might have underwear. You guys know me. Mott and Bow. That's a good brand. Okay, okay. How are the crotch? Oh, crotch check. Someone blew it out. Dang it. Anyways, if you guys find this brand, it's good. Mott and Bow. Uh, well, you, aka Macklemore. You know what? I, I, I should be. I was Captain Underpants. I sold the Underpants. I was Barney. Not Barney anymore. This week, I can be Macklemore. Look at the, what they're doing here with the Lucky Jeans. Like I said, overpricing and nuts. They're crazy. Um, Sonoma, nope. LV doesn't the whole lot sold on eBay. Ones that didn't sell were very pricey. Um, thoughts on True Religion jeans? True Religion, uh, I still will sell them for men's if I can source them at a good price. These thrift stores have been pricing that stuff up. Um, but if I can find them at a, at a good price and they're authentic, I will pick them up. So here's Nautica jeans. Look at that size, 38 by 38. I normally never pick up Nautica, but that size is so tempting. I've never found jeans 38. So really, I mean, these are as high as the freaking rack. All right, what do you guys think on these? $20 is high for you jeans. Is Lucky a good set? Uh, it used to be really good. Lucky used to be really good. Um, brand to sell. What are these? Reclaim Vintage? Um, where are the Luckies? Yeah. So Luckies like this. This is the newer model. Find that tag. That's newer-ish. And if you can get these for $5, I would pick them up. But they sell for like 20 22 now uh, in used condition. What do you guys think about these jeans? The Yes, yeah, a tall guy. 38 38 That's a really tough to, to find. Big easy. Ugh, I don't know. Um, what about rock and roll brand jeans? Nope. I don't think I picked those up. There's some. There's some. Uh, Tommy Bahama. But the good thing about these, again, I don't pick up Tommy Bahama jeans. But look at the size on these. Thirty-eight by thirty-four. It's a super good size. But I don't pick up Tommy Bahama jeans. But that's a really good size. What are you guys' thoughts? I don't know. I pick up, yeah, I pick up Levi's if they're vintage. I pick up Silver Tab Levi's. Um, all that. There's another weird brand. 
I don't know that brand. Uh, I would get them just for the size exactly. Yeah, I think I'm going to get them just because of size. That size is so unique. So unique. Um, 38 by 38. I don't know. I might look them up. We'll see. What's up, Amy D? Um, what type of Brooks Brothers foot joys do you pick up? Found a bunch. So Brooks Brothers, um, what? Foot joy, I pick up a lot of their athletic fit jeans. Um, and I will pick up some of their polos. Um, especially if they're like a tour polo. Or if they have uh, print all over them, I will pick them up. But that's about it for foot joy. Um, Brooks Brothers, it just depends on the price. I'll pick up their suits. I'll pick up their shirts if they have a little golden fleece on them. Do the surf up method on them. Make like 10 to 12 bucks profit. Uh, those are about, and I pick up white, all white or tuxedo. So these look like, oh, uh, I thought they were uh, prana, but they're not. Those are Andres. I just came in. What were those pants? These, these are not a good, they're nothing special. These are something according to the chat. The chat thinks these are something. Millie Lawton? Lotan, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that one. Here's some shoes. There's some shoes. I don't know. The boys probably been over them. Here's another brand. Like this seems like a super nice brand of shorts. Saint Hillary, Saint Hillary. I think I've looked those up before, and they're not great. Um, I sold Millie for two hundred bucks. Get them. Oh, don't you worry. They're right here hiding. Chubbies, Millie. Um, normally, I would not get them. But I'm getting polos by um, Tommy Bahama because I'm a lot of mutt. Oh, here's my favorite. You guys know I love these. They're ten bucks, but I'll still pick them up if they don't have ball marks on them. I will pick them up. So if I do. I look over here. Damn it! That oh, shoe fell off. So what I do with these, I look for ball marks. If they don't have ball marks, I will pick them up. Let's look. Let's see if they have ball marks on them. Ball marks? No. Even though these are $10, and I hate paying $10 for these, I pick these up because they sell for me all the time for $23.99. $23.99. Every single time I get them. So I got to pick them up. Millie's is at sex. All right. This is my brand. Too bad that cart didn't have a whole bunch of it. Millie Lawton. Okay, they're size 10. Don't forget to tell me to go to the women's section and look for Millie Lawton size 10. Do not forget. These are Brooks. Oh, these are, are those. Oh, I thought those were Sims or something. They're not Brooks Brothers. They're not Sims. Those are real, those real, uh, real, like R E E. These are Polar Ralph Lauren. Um, and you guys know I love Unique, but I've tried selling ones like these before. They don't sell very well. Hate ball marks. Me too. Nine live jeans? I don't know that one. Tommy Bahama. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Okay. Super heavy cart. Because I have those. Sewing machine. What, what, what? People are going to buy those. All right, Jose Banks, we're looking for blue and red. Nope. So, nope, they don't have much on there. We're looking for blue and red. Uh, low tan. Low tan, okay. What are ball marks? Okay, ball marks are, I mean, do you want me to be, this is in a, this is for all ages. So, ball marks right here, When you, these are golf shorts for men. Golf shorts, and what guys will do, or women, whatever, They'll take their golf ball when they pick it up and they'll wipe it on their, their pants and you'll see black marks here and they're almost impossible to get out. Like they're super hard to get out. So as long as they don't have ball marks, I'm usually in for them. These are heavy, heavy. We can see if they were all in new carts, by the way. Um, do you ever luck out with Tommy shorts? Luck in Tommy shorts? Um, yeah, Tom, Tommy, Tommy Hilfiger shorts or Tommy Bahama shorts. I don't pick up like almost any Tommy Hilfiger or Tommy Bahama. I pick up no Tommy Hilfiger anymore 
at all. One of my favorite brands to wear, but not to resell uh, as far as shirts go. Tommy Bahama. Um, Tommy Bahama shorts. No, if you look at my store, you'll see the ones that I actually sell. Um, but I don't recommend people picking up Tommy Bahama. There were Tommy Bahama over there, the silk kind. I don't pick them up. This is North Face. We're going to have that priced up high. This is five bucks. I picked this up. These sell for right around 20 for me all the time in the fall and winter. Just these basic North Faces. So you find these for $5 or less, pick them up. You'll sell them and buy or pay shipping. Um, does your wife look up items while you are there? Heck no. She didn't know how to look up items. What she does is tell me not to get stuff like those sewing machines. She literally popped in for a second and said no, and then popped out. She knew. She has that sixth sense of what not to get. All right, so again, back on task, Brad. Red. Red, blue. Red, blue. Um, nothing. Apartment 9, no. Uh, no. No. But if you guys find uh, tuxedo shirts in a good brand like Brooks Brothers, pick it up. It's like 70 bucks. Does she snag stuff when you go home? Yes, of course she does. If I have some good something that she wants, she'll snag it. Not very often, though. My wife is – my wife's like an old Navy whatever type of clothing wear. But if I have Lulu, like a nice jacket or something, it's gone. It's gone. But sometimes I'm like, no. You can't have that. Like those whatever jeans, those Nilly or whatever, she won't want those. But if she did, I'd say no. I'd tell her right to her face, no. Um, Van Heusen, no. I do not get anything Van Heusen. So see, nine ninety nine. I told you the store is overpriced. Look how much they priced Ralph Lauren for. Ten bucks. You guys were with me earlier at the other stores. They're all four ninety nine at the other stores. Stores, stores on one. Store has been on one. Used to be my favorite. Ooh, look. It's like they are going through all their goods. Look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry about it, but you guys missed some good stuff. There's $9.99. Other than Lulu, what other brands do you wear? Steph, that's a great question. None. None. That's all I wear is Lulu. Because I, I taught PE to special needs kids, so I didn't have a dress code. I could just wear... Um, Look at that vintage. But I, could, I could just wear that stuff. So that's what I wear now, and that's all I wear. AMG. AMG. Do you guys know what AMG is? You know what brand that belongs to? Um, I don't know if this is sell, though. So I, oh, I do love Olakai. I do wear Olakai shoes. The sewing machine goes for 100 on eBay. Yeah, I'm going to sell those locally. I don't wear Viore, but I sell Viore. Robert Graham, yes. Love Robert Graham. White cotton shirts brand. Um, I don't know that brand. So this right here is AMG. This is Mercedes performance line. So this is Mercedes performance line, uh, AMG, but I'm not going to pick this up because it doesn't have a Mercedes on it. I'm not going to pick it up. London fog. Who's that? Are you being honest? Good job, Mercedes. Yep. Um, no London fog, no London fog. Did the weird guy leave? No, he literally is here all day long. He will be here all day long. Just wait. Just wait for carts to come out. And he didn't even get the good stuff. You guys saw what was on that cart that he missed. So, I need to find something here. Look off to the women's section. Pricing up all this, all this stuff. MB. Michael. Michael. Ooh. This could be something. What's this, guys? Uniclue with Michael Bastin? Bastin? Okay, because... You guys need to let me know because Uniqlo, or Uniqlo, they've teamed up with um, some golfers and some tennis players, and that stuff goes for a ton of money. Uniqlo is not an expensive brand. What about this? What about this? Rain Spooner, yes. Guess no. Um, if you want to, look at my YouTube channel, and you'll, you can see a ton of stuff I get. My hauls, my lives, all that stuff. So what do you guys think about this? Uniqlo MB. I would just look up Uniqlo MB. So we'll put it here for now. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It kind of looks like a cricket shirt. Look at them. They got all their stuff. Happy for them. Probably all vintage. That's what everyone gets these days. Vintage, vintage. All right. Let's keep looking through here. Polar Ralph Lauren's my favorite brand to sell. Uh, but ask what you need. I'm getting excited thrifting. I'm not even knowledgeable enough yet. You will be. You will be. Especially if you're into it. 
If you're into it, man, you're gonna, it's gonna pick up quick. Hickey Freeman polos, no. I would have bought this back in 2016, but not now. Again, just red, just red. Hoping they'll put out a new part while we're waiting here. There's a blue tag. Um, how much do they price Lululemon? Well, we found one for four ninety nine that they missed, but usually they've been pricing it here at uh, nineteen ninety nine. So look at all these Michigan, 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 Michigan. Four bucks. That's not bad. But they're Adidas. I don't think so. I don't know. The embroidery is awful. I don't think so. I'm not going to get those. Um, how much do they price Lululemon? Yes. Have you ever sold Ariat before? Yeah, Ariat's a great brand. I love finding Ariat, men's and women's. Most recently, I found Ariat fire retardant uh, pants. Ooh, four. Oh, I thought I said four XL, two XL. Fire retardant pants. They sold really well, or they sell really well. I haven't even listed them because that's something I list in the fall. So I'll hold on to it. I will hold on to it. What have you found at this goodwill? You don't even want to know. Creepy dude. Um, stalker dude. Sorts of stuff like that. I think that's, uh, that's a college, isn't it? It's a college? I think. I don't care, though. It's 10 bucks. Collar and Co. Collar and Co. Looks, that looks like a very nice shirt. Collars and Co.? Don't know it. Don't know. Okay, so what we found is all this stuff in here. Chubby's, um, a brand that's really nice. That one, I don't know about it. And then I got two, which I'm most sorry about because I love antiques. I got two um, sewing machines that are super vintage. Um, T-shirt brand is good quality. What brand is good quality? People in the chat, answer that one. What T-shirt brand? What t T-shirt, what brand is good quality? Mm, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about T-shirts. I mean, I know what's vintage, what's not vintage. I don't know about quality. Built. Yes, built's good, but I resell them. What sewing machines did I get? I'm going to post this live, actually, probably on my YouTube. So um, I don't even know the brands. I just know that they're vintage. And they look really cool, and they're 10 bucks a piece. I know I can sell them for probably 25 each on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm just going to grab them, go home, take some pictures, and make a quick, I don't know, maybe I'll sell them for them. Make a quick 50 bucks for the two of them in a day or two. So that's the other place to sell. Facebook Marketplace, stuff like that. Um, Zara. I'm excited to go to the women's section, though. Specifically size 10. There's a Cubs jersey. How much do they have it priced at? Nine ninety nine. Who is it? Bear one. Someone had that made, and it doesn't have the tag up top, so I don't think it's real. Um, I think Royal Mercy. If you want a shirt to wear Uniqlo, as far as selling, probably not. No. Um, are you online? Yeah, I'm online right now. Yeah, I'm. A, I have a store on eBay. Search up finds. If you go to my link tree, you'll find all my stuff. YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff. Don't buy any. Don't buy anything from my store. You can just look at it and see what sells. Look, there's some blue tags. Um, I always tell people, if you want to educate yourself, there's a lot of people who sell online. Just look at their stores and see what they sell, what they've been selling. So you're going to see my store selling mostly wood, mostly spring and summer items right now. So here are the t-shirts. Those people have tons of t-shirts. Um, thanks for contributing with my goal. But it says, I don't care about t-shirts. Those guys are looking through them like crazy. I'm going to look at women's clothing for a shout out. Especially since we found that one. All right. Gold label. Um, gold label. This is fun. Isn't it fun? Do you list your jeans year round? No. Um, I would though. If, if When I first started out, I listed them year round. But now I don't. Um, because, like, I have all the swim trunks now. I have all those polo shirts, all that stuff. I will hold. People are going to be really mad at me. But, like, these right here, I'm going to wait until the fall. Um, I'll wait till the fall probably to list those. 
because they're they're pants. The reason being is I have so much spring and summer. I have to list that spring and summer stuff or else I'm in trouble. Because then fall will hit real quick. And that spring and summer stuff, I'm going to have to hold on for another year. Um, let's see. Most modern machines vintage sell for 100 plus. Vintage are way better than modern today quality. Yeah. So I'll see. I mean, I'll see what we can do with them. Oh, I thought that was Purple Label Ralph Lauren. It's linen. Oh, and it, that would have been, I would have been just so excited. Mini Vines polos, yeah, if they are golf golf type of polos. They have to be um, like a polyester or a nylon type of blend. So I'm sorry, did I say no? Did you say no about gold label? What's gold label? Um, I'm not sure I know what gold label is. Level 99. This feels like linen too. If I'm p- passing up on anything women's, you guys let me know. Again, that's my new suit. Trying, so I'm going through women's. Trying to learn it. What do you sell most of? Men's clothing. Clothing now. So men's clothing. And I'm branching out to women's. But mostly men's. Like this is men's over here. Heart shape remark in the women's section. This one too. So. Uh, Round tree in New York. No. Round tree in New York I do not sell. Nope. Here we go. There's a blue. Blue tag. Avon. Hmm. How about that? It's probably for someone who uh, sold their products, right? All right. So through here, I'm going to be looking for figs and Carhartt. So there's a Carhartt. People were talking about Carhartt the other day. Um, Topol textile. So Carhartt scrubs. When I've looked them up, they haven't done very well, but this is an all over print. I don't know anything about these. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, I smell. It smells like mothballs. I feel like that Avon suit. Oh my gosh, something smells like mothballs. Could be those sewing machines. Anyways, uh, what about this? What about this? Carhartt? Carhartt? I don't know. What color tag was that? Red? That's the only one. I'm going to say no on it. Gosh, it stinks like mothballs. Got to be those sewing machines. Um, if you're looking for figs, you want to look for the cross. Cross. I wouldn't get that. Nope. Yeah. Carhartt, I've looked them up before. They just don't. You would think they would do well, but they don't. Um, I looked up comps, and they just don't do well. Um, I mean, do you guys want me to look down the women's section stuff? I mean, there's quite a bit here. I haven't been here for a while. Should I look down the women's stuff? Yes or no? Yes or no? Should I just check out? What do you say? I don't know. I'm looking. I got to keep a close eye. Oh, I don't want someone seeing my tag. And a close eye on anything new comes out. Um, but old boy is leaving me alone. That's pretty cool. The other day I found Tracksmith shorts in here. That's kind of why I'm looking for these women's shorts real quick. Found some Tracksmith shorts. They sell for really good money. So I kind of want to see if they have any more. I found Gifts Saturday. Love finding gifts. Um, what is that? Gifts. Is that phase? Is that autocorrect? Um, remember, I knew. Here's a blue tag. What do we got here? Athletica. Nope. Again, I'm not going to look too much through the shorts, guys. I just want to see if they have um, that little track. I'm going to look for that little track uh, bunny, little gold bunny. Because last week I found some in here. And no one knows about that brand but me. So I'm just saying if they have it on the bottom. Then we'll go down. It was Nike. There's some blue tags. Ink? No. Um, just picked up Patagonia Figs Outdoor Research Pants. All for a dollar. Patagonia Figs and Outdoor Research for a dollar. Where the heck are you finding those thrifty duckies? Where are you finding all that stuff for a dollar? Those are all top-notch brands, Bolo Lists. You guys don't know that Patagonia, Outdoor Research, all Bolo. Okay, we're going to go down the next aisle. I am not find nothing. Um, again, I'm going to look for size 10 in pants here in a second. So, again, don't know. Again, there's another one. I don't know that. Don't know that label. Icy Zone. 
Icy Zone. How about these guys? Icy Zone. I thought you like Kayla. I thought that Kayla liked Athleta. She does. What's Gold Bunny? Um, Tracksmith. Look up Tracksmith on eBay. Tracksmith. And they have a little Gold Bunny on them. Like right here, it's a little logo, Gold Bunny. I just started finding them this year, and they do really well. Gold Bunny, Tracksmith. In fact, I have a pair I need to relist. I took them off because they um, I didn't know if they were women's or men's. I need to relist them. All right, nothing through here. What's the value? Um, a Marnie suit for a few. Bought a Marnie suit for a few dollars. Nice. Be careful with them, though. A few dollars is good, but be careful because sometimes those things can sit for a while. On um, the value of those Tracksmith, I've sold, the sh I've sold a couple shirts. You can look at my uh, eBay store. I forget what they sold for. Like $45 a piece. And I have that pair of shorts that I've never found before. So that's about what they sell for. Again, I don't like looking through women's. Unless it's got a blue tag. I won't be looking through all this stuff. This looks like Lily Pulitzer. It's not. Blue tag. Shine star. Nope. All right. Do it. Do it. Looking, I'm just kind of browsing. Why do I smell mothballs again? My cart's over there. Something smells like freaking mothballs. It's nasty. All right. SC and Co. South Carolina and Co. Maybe two nice tennis skirts, something like that. Money is money. What do What do I need to get? What money? What do I What do I need to get? What I miss up on? Money is money, but time is important as well. All right, sanctuary. This is where I need to look at size tens. Right, grab my cart, go back over here. Look at this bunch of junk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, why do we always have higher screen background of the store? I don't know. Always, always place being in. People are breaking stuff around here. You break, you buy. Name that movie. Um, you're going so fast, it's hard to see. The reason I go so fast, I tell us all the time, is because I come thrifting all the time. Every week they put out a new color. So I'm only looking for certain colors. This week they're putting out blue. But they haven't put a lot out. I didn't go thrifting last uh, weekend. So I'm looking a little bit at red. That's what they put out last week. And they're still putting a little bit of red out now. I'm going to put that back because I'm a good good thrifter. Um, but you break, you buy. Nobody? Anybody? Somebody? All right. We're looking for size 10, right? Size 10. Uh, 12, 12, 10. Okay, size 10, red tags. Size 10, red tags. We're looking for that one brand. I already forget it. Millie? Millie. Oh, shoot. Okay. What's the best thing you've ever found? Oh, my gosh. I can't answer that question. What about Lauren sports coats for four ninety nine? If they're gold button, I'd pick them up. Otherwise, no, not for me. It takes a long time to list those, and they can sit for a while. So not for me. Um, gold button I pick up. So they'll just be blue, navy blue with the gold button. Not having much luck with finding another Millie. What if I found more Millie? You guys got me all excited. Uh, what about Lauren's, uh, Amy D, what were you saying? What's the best thing you've ever found? Again, I don't know. Lots of stuff. Again, I can't answer that question. People... Because I used to sell antiques. I found some really nice stuff antiques. As far as thrifting, mm, I don't know. I don't think I've ever sold anything that I thrifted for over $1,000 that I thrifted at a thrift store. Um, estate sales, yes. But nothing that I thrifted at a thrift store. So I would say like like Coogee maybe or a unique vintage polo or t-shirt, stuff like that. Um I found Brioni suits, but nothing over a thousand bucks. Man. Uh, don't be a menace. Yes. I love you. Sparkly hope. Yes. Don't be a menace. 
like drinking your juice, sausage from the hood or whatever it's called. You break you by. So you break you by. That aloe. Why are these hanging out over here? What are you guys doing over here? This is a good brand. Let's check out the condition. So, all right. Well, first of all, there's a little bit of hair on there, which I don't like, but it's just a little bit. No biggie. Yes, it's come off. So just a little bit. What do you guys think? Yeah, someone did hide those for later. They sure did. I tell people at Goodwill all the time, I couldn't work here. The employees, you should work here. I can't. I'd get fired in a heartbeat. I'd hide, I'd hide everything. So what do you guys think about these? There's your little aloe hit right there on the bottom. Like the song. I hope this song doesn't get kicked. I put this stuff on YouTube, my lives, and they get kicked off because of music. That's why I wear this headpiece right here. So, all right. So here we go. Aloe extra small. Why did I do that? Aloe extra small. It's pretty small, guys. Extra small is pretty small. Want to think about them? Mm. I don't know. Extra small. Is it worth it with the hair? I usually don't get stuff with hair. You better get those. All right. Well, and guess what now that means? That means I'm going to have to look through all that. Feel free to leave, guys. If this is boring you, get out of here. I understand. But I'm out here just trying to make some money. Maybe you guys are learning something. Put them on for auction. Uh, what, the aloes? I don't know about that. If that's what you're talking about. Um, how much are they? Four ninety nine. What's the best thing in your cart now? These, supposedly, according to the chat, best thing in the cart right now, these Nautica jeans. Best thing I've got, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, this right here, brand i never heard of, Nilly Latin. Nilly Latin. Thing I'm most excited about are these sewing machines that aren't worth as much. Found some nice Mephisto Gore-Tex. Found a whole bunch of Chubbies. Found some... This brand right here, which is a good brand. And then we just found some aloe, which I guess are good. $5. I work from home. You're my coworker. All right, good. Let's do this. All right. Again, see how these are red? They're still putting out red this week. So they put on a new cart. Does that look new to you? Does that look new to you or old? I feel like it looks new. Man, why do they do that to me all the time? Do that to me all the time. Uh, chubbies, yeah. Lots of chubbies, too, by the way. All right. Is this? No, we've already been through this one. Dang it. It's the one we found chubbies on. Is this the one we found that Nilly on? If that's the case, let's go back through here. Yeah, for sure. If this is the Nilly one, we need to go back through here. So I'm not looking at women's bathing suits anymore after what I found last week and one I brought home. I'm not doing it. Let's look back through here. Make sure I didn't miss any of that. Hillary Radley, no. No. Remember this? Young LA. Um, no more Lily. I think, I think we're out of, out of the Nilly. This is the brand that I was, what, did we ever find it? It looked very nice. Max jeans. Nope. Max jeans. Nope. Any Western shirts? Not here. Not at this one. Not at this one, but I do sell Western shirts. Um, Polar Ralph Lauren Western shirts do really well. So those do really well. Yeah. Oh, they combined it. Dunhill, Penguin. Yeah, this is that one with the aloe. All those lily fits. All that stuff. So is this one new? Is this one new? I think this one's new. All right. Uh, is Young LA not good find? No, everyone said earlier it's not good. Everyone earlier said they're not a good find. So I said, okay, I won't get them. I don't think we went through this. I think this is newer. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Dots, no dress barn. Just a bunch of crapola. We're here. What's this? H&M. Nope. 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 Huh. 
What's this? Close all four on them on them? Dang it. Why do they always do something like this to me? Nope. They say denim on them. Say nothing. Tell you right now. Dress. All right. Now we got to look at the dresses. Let's go back over. What? Um, what about Shepler shirts? Um, what are Shepler? Talking about like, uh, what's Shepler? Um, I love Western with embroidery. Yeah. Um, Young LA is popular. I know, but look how, oh, these exact aloe sold for $10 plus shipping. That's a no-go. And I don't want to fight with animal hair. But they were extra small, so since we're over here, might as well. There's some Athleta, Athleta, but look, they're crops. What are, you, what are these things? The older? What do you guys think about these? These are weird. I don't think so. Uh, Millie size? I think they were 10. They were 10 for sure. So, less embroidered. No shuplers. Yeah. Uh, Pearl Snap Wrangler is good. Uh, yeah, I get Pearl Slap Wrangler and sell them for like eighteen ninety nine plus shipping to people. So I don't think those Athleta were very cool, by the way. I just I don't think they were hip enough. Um, size on Athleta, Athleta, they're probably extra small. They're small. Zero. Yep. That's like extra small, right? They of course come off. But look, they're super short. Here are all the leggings. See how they're super short? But they're not capris. They're not tight. I don't know what they are. Yeah, it's an older label. Yeah, can't. Can't. Nike Pro. Uh, oh, yeah, we did find some Beyond Yoga in there, too. Those are, those are good. Those are good. Athleta. There's some, there's some Athleta. Athleta but those look off-white. See how these look off-white? That's kind of, that's not normal, right? What do you guys think? They're clam diggers. Oh, God. Um, I like these because they have the name on them right there. Oh, no, they don't. This is an older one. I thought they did, but they don't. I'm not getting them. I rarely pick up Athleta. You know what? I never did either until recently. Um, and the only reason I pick them up is because here's, this brand is awful. Remember this whole scheme? Big old Avon pyramid scheme crap? Um, I used to not pick up Athleta until recently. So I do pick it up now if it's newer. It's the only time I pick it up if it's newer. I don't get any any ones with that. So we'll keep looking down here. The dude that comes here in the morning throws women's pants a lot. So I would be surprised if I find much over here. Zell, no. Uh, Goodwill, get any Western shirts from Brody. I bet they put them online. No, they don't. Um, I find them a lot. So here you go. Here's some more aloe. Um, these are look super small as well. So these are just basic black. What do you guys think about basic black? Um, they put Western shirts out. I find them like Wrangler. Um, sorry, I'm getting some of this stuff off. So here's, here's aloe. These are black. Black is a good color. Like they're kind of crackling here. If you can see they're crackling. You guys let me know what you think. Let's look at the size. It seems super small. Again, they've got to be extra small. Don't even see the size. Here they are. These are old. I can't even read it. I can't even read it. Those aren't, I can't. They're not good enough condition. I'm not going to do it. And here's more of those. That one pair. Sorry, guys. Let me down. Grease Anatomy, that should be in the scrubs. Pass back, ladies. Love them. I know I do too, but they're super old. Super old. Can't do the old. They're like, you can't even see it. There's Athleta again, but they're the old, and they're like that cottony, so they're pilly. Yep. Something's going on in here. Victoria. Someone, someone actually donated their clothes that they wore. That's what's going on in here. Um, What's up, Biggie Sales? That back treatment on the white pants is called Ditto Seat. Um, is it? Joy Lab? No, 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 no. Nope. I'm about ready to go to the jeans. 
I'm not ready to go to jeans. Like these are really picked over. I'm looking at the bigger sizes, but I feel like these are really picked over. Here's some blue. I'll be looking for blue the rest of the week if you go live thrifting with me. Just today, I'm looking a little bit at red because I didn't thrift over the weekend. So, but most of these reds I saw last week. That's why I'm just kind of going over them real quick. Uh, oh. Let's see. Uh, those gray leggings you had, those gray all leggings you had. Did they? The aloe? The aloe sold for that? Right on lane actually. Um, someone said they sold for a lot, a lot less. I could still go get them if I wanted. Old Navy. Exact same ones and size. Okay. Okay, what colors on the Goodwill tags mean? So at our Goodwills, we don't have sales. At our Goodwills, they just put out new colors every week, and that's the way they know how to purge the week after. So I'll look these up. Um, the week after. Again, what about this shirt? I'm ready to get rid of it or buy it. Guys, this brand right here, right here, Emily McCartney. McCarthy, remember, has a stain here. It has a stain here. What do I do? Find any golf store city, Carol Ann? No. Found some chubbies, though. You like your husband and some really short chubbies and a whole bunch of Tommy Bahama polo shirts. Pass on this? Okay, I'm passing on it. Yeah, it's nasty. Set People, I think, said it was a decent brand. But I'm going to pass on it. Code 16. Code 16. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm a good person at the Goodwill. But I'm going to do, hey, thanks for the hearts. What I'm going to do is put this back somewhere right where it should probably go. And I'll find this Johnny was. I'm just kidding. That would have been funny. All right. Let's keep going. Um, my chubbies are hard to sell. Are you pricing them right? Usually when I get chubbies, they sell super quick. If they're swim trunks, see how vibrant these are? Um, those will sell pretty quick for me. You just have to price them right. I like to price my stuff competitive. Damn. You come back. Can you believe old boy hasn't come back over to me? Awesome. Blue. Blue. Felina. See, I can't keep up. I can't keep up. One's always got new stuff. Athletics. No. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was G4. That would have been awesome if that was G4. Um, there you go. Chubby Surfer, 99 Pro Shorts. 24, no shorts. No one is biting. 20 bucks for shorts. Are your pictures good? Um, shorts don't sell as well as swim trunks. I know that. Um, but are your pictures good? Steven Jeans. The, the swim trunks always sell well for me. They're known for the swim trunks. And the tops are called the Nutter. That's what the tops are called. Lost dress for less. All right, let's go to the women's jeans right quick. See what they have. Make sure my cart's right here. In case someone tries to steal it. All right, let's look for blue on the jeans. Actually, let's look for 10. What's that brand called again? Millie. Millie. I'm surprised you don't hear jaw scenes on around your cart. I know. No, 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 no. Or around me. Oh, boy. I don't even know where it went. Look at this guy. <laughs> um, I've been listing some things on eBay today. Y'all should be proud. Good job, Carol Ann. Carol Ann's going to be live tonight at 9.30 on K-Way's channel. If you guys want to watch, it's going to be a good one. Jay Jill. All right, we're looking for a round size 10. Where are we at, 14? It's too big. Uniclude? No, usually don't. He is living. Man, I am not hating. I do not care. I just think it's a funny get up. If someone gets in my cart. Um, I just think it's a funny get up. I'm not hating at all. Good for him. Living his best life. One one. Um, I'm sad. You're not doing this. I know Carol Ann, um I just felt like you K Way's been trying to get you on for so long. 
I'm like, you're his girl, and I just feel like it needs to be you two. And I know he kind of asked me, but I just felt like it needs to be a you two thing. I'm not trying to hog anybody's space or anything like that. I just, I think it should be you two. You guys are the OGs, and you're his, you're his person. So I think me coming on, uh, I just didn't want to. I think it needs to be you and him. Um, get in your cart. I know. I need to let this girl come through. And then we need to go look at size 10. Size 10. Look at this, guys. I haven't had this in a while. I'm so excited for that thing down there. All right. Size 10. Eight. We'll look through size eight, too. You know, cut from the cloth. Used to be decent back in the day. You guys probably know that, though. Ashley Stewart. No bow. No go. No bows, no go. Uh, I'll be shopping a cart when you left park somewhere. Marley, you better not be. I'll keep an eye on that if someone gets it. No one wanted anything in there anyways. Got it all at the racks. Citizens of Humanity, I don't buy. J Brand, I buy in men's sometimes. These are super long. J Brand used to be a really good brand to sell. It's falling off, probably because skinny jeans are falling off. Toothpick, yep. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, move it closer. You want to oh, the, the cart? That's all right. It's chilling right there. I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover, but I got my fist ready just in case. These are not good. Again, we're just looking for red. And I'm Sabrina Lauren. Is that good? No. Um, looking for that one brand that we just passed over. Millie. So I want to find some Millie. Those are cool. Those are cool. All right. Down here. Loft. University. Nope. AG. I used to pick these. Oh, these are men's. Oh, but those are old. Um, let's see. All right. Buffalo. Hope you guys can see this so lifting. Sorry, I'm just looking for some more of those Nilly. You guys don't have to be bored with me anymore. We did have a good time though in here. Found old boy. He didn't even follow me a lot. I'll look behind me just to make sure. Old Navy, old Navy, old Navy, old Navy. Look at these tightened in here. Squeeze. That makes sense. Look at that squeeze. They tighten these in here for squeeze. Um Thanks for loving my lives. I think it's fun. This is telling you, man. TikTok wasn't around when I started doing reselling clothing. And if it was, my gosh, I would have eaten it up. And then when like, I post them on my YouTube, I would have binge. That's what I used to do, binge watch people's hauls. I just binge watch their hauls, and then that's what I'd go out and find. That's what I'd go look for. Um, but nowadays, we got the ticky tacky which I'm new to in 2023. 20, I'm new to TikTok. And of course, all the, all the older people, Chinese are going to watch you. They're watching you. I don't care. I don't want anything from me. They're not going to come steal my beans. All right. I'm out of here. There ain't nothing left over here. I look through all the size 10. Let's go see the end of our cart. You've been live so much today. I know. I have been. And tomorrow, I'll be live too. And Wednesday, I'll be live some too. So... I like to, if it's good enough, I'm going to do it. If it's good enough, I'm going to do it. So do you guys want to see what our goods are? There's too many. I'm not going to go through it. I got five, um, five Tommy Bahamas. I'm going to lot them together. This is a good brand, people say. The only reason I'm buying these Nautica pants are because they're 38 by 38. I'm still not sure. I'm going to look them up. Um, got some, oh, I need to look this one up too. Definitely getting these. Tons of chubbies. Um, this brand right here, which is good, is, Meta, is Medfisto's Gore-Tex right here. These are super expensive shoes. They're 10 bucks. They should have priced them at like 50 but they didn't. Um, so I did get a haul today. And I got two vintage sewing machines that I will post on my Instagram later. Let's see if I can sell them. I'll list them today. List them today. Let's see how long they take to sell. So K-Deer is great. I just found them last week. The new to me brand last week. So I found another new me brain this week. So, all right. Well, I appreciate you guys. Listen, I'm not done for the day. 
So I'm going, I'm going to some more. So thanks for the fire. And maybe I'll turn it on live. Maybe I won't. I'm going to go up to the suburbs. So we'll see what they have. So I appreciate you guys always coming in. Um, I might post this one live. I posted my live from this morning already. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming with me. Love you guys. See ya. Thanks, Carolina.